Crime in St. Lucia has been identified as a crisis as St. Lucia recently reported its 67th murder for 2024. This national issue affects all St. Lucians despite political affiliation. Speaking on crime at the UWP rally held on Sunday, 20th October, Leader of the Opposition, Honorable Alan Chastney, addressed the government's approach to dealing with this issue, which adversely affects various fundamental aspects of society. Chastney suggested a similar approach to how the UWP government dealt with the COVID-19 pandemic. How is it the government has not been able to get a plan to deal with crime? The same plan, you see how it comes back and starts making sense? We said, let us learn from COVID. We had a crisis in COVID, could not wait. So what did we do is we created a command center. What's a command center? A command center meets every single week, all the key people, Attorney General's office, the Ministry of Finance, police, ambulance, everybody is there. And you're measuring the performance of your work on a weekly basis. And you're determining and using information to put the emphasis where it should be. Solidifying his position that the victims of crime extend to their loved ones and the system that has to deal with crime, Chastney drew an example from the six-year-old girl who was recently shot in Denry. And we now have this young girl who was shot in Denry South. She's not the only victim. Her mother has become a victim. The other family members who are in stress because they don't have the resources to help the mother. They are victims. The mother of the six-year-old shooting victim has since made a public appeal for medical support to treat her daughter. The leader of the opposition shared his sentiments that under these circumstances, support should have been given to the distressed mother. Under the circumstances we are living in now, and the condition in which the young girl was shot, that we would have to be hearing in the news weeks later that she's looking for $14,000 to be able to get an operation, and we have nothing to say as people in this country, no, I say no, let us right the wrong. Addressing and reducing crime will continue to remain a pressing issue as many variables are necessary for this intervention, from government and advocacy groups to churches, communities, families, and the individuals deciding to take personal responsibility. As the opposition provided possible solutions to address crime, the government remains committed to maintaining law and order in St. Lucia with Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre's zero crime objective. Government plans to confirm the investments for tackling crime in the upcoming expenditure estimates. For Choice News Now, I am Dyred Lionel.